let me quickly introduce why we want a uh, feature graph. What exactly is a feature? Now, here's an example. So you have a smiley face. A smiley face has many uh, elements, like uh, uh, the circle, the dot, uh, the, uh, the line, the, the curve at the bottom. So they, they all, um, they come together to represent here's a smiley face. So the feature really is just the individual elements. Like you have a, like a, as I point out on the left, you have a, a dot, you have segments, circle. Now if you individually one by one, that's not enough to say something is wrong or something needs to be, really you need to pay attention, needs to raise alarm. However, when they come together in certain form, in certain structure, it reveals that there's a threat behind it. So this is really the whole whole point of a creating feature graph is you're not just to capture the incidents, uh, but you capture interesting uh, patterns uh, over the time, like uh, life capture them. And those patterns serves you later um, for, for, for identify the threats. Now, once you capture all those features, you save them in the graph. And uh, so here I lay out very, very abstracted, simplified schema that, that with actor, feature, events, resource, IP. I also have the log data at the bottom, uh, have a dotted link connect to log data. That it means those data are on demand. When you need to access it, you can pull because log data often is humongous. These like um, terabytes or tens of terabytes. And, but if you only need to access specific data, it's pretty fast. And so that's not a problem. So if we look at the traditional approach of uh, you have a big data flow in, going to the data lake and it goes to a, a, a BI, uh, to raise the alert, alert. And what we really need is we need to add this component we call, I call it feature graph. Uh, what the feature graph is, is it's continuously monitor the uh, data stream and extracting interesting tidbit and uh, store that into a graph. Now, once you have those store in the graph in couple with the, the raw data being saved in the data lake, now you can have a much more nuanced dashboard that not, not only show you the statistics, but also shows you the context. Now, what is the feature graph? Um, let's look into a few examples of, uh, of uh, like things that happens in the real world data. And once the first example I want to show you is really just, uh, this is from a platform where you have many, many uh, users coming from different uh, IP, different machines. So let's see in day one, we notice there's uh, users sharing IP. Now the, the sharing IP itself may not be a problem, but however, if the, it's likely people sharing IP are all those accounts are created by the same person or by a group of people that related. Um, so a few days later, we look at the same group of people. Notice, um, again, there's a lot of uh, people coming from the same IP. In this case, you have this like a uh, uh, person icon represents a, uh, a user and the uh, IP uh, is in the, in the machine. And I have the date in the middle. So it represents uh, people sharing uh, IP um, in that particular date. So those information are interesting because um, that imply, imply there's a, um, what is, what, what's the word for that? Uh, corroboration, I mean, people just working together behind the scene. Now what's even more interesting is if you can bring those days, the data together. Now using the IP as a, a connection, now you suddenly notice all those, a large group of people are actually connected with each other. So this is from a uh, real case where we noticed that 
from this group, connected group, there's actually one user who was identified was a known bad actor. And, uh, but previously, uh, all we know is that, that one user is a bad actor and we have no idea about the other users. And because you have this, this the connectivity among users being established uh, using those shared IP um, as a signal over the time, now we quickly can use label propagation to, to flag all the, all the users that's being historically shared IP or shared multiple, like a shared, shared IP over multiple hop as a large group, as a, uh, as, as the user needs to be put on the uh, um, watch list. So this is, uh, this is in a, a uh, example of uh, like uh, you finding connection among users, among actors through sharing of the same resources. And uh, in this case is a sharing the IP, but there's also there's other resources can be shared. For example, creating the account at, at the same time can be used as a signal to establish connection. Once you're able to visualize it, and uh, now you can start to see the patterns that often hidden in the data. That if you just look at the data, it's very difficult to find.